I'm Chad Reynolds. And I'm David Freiberger. And today we're going to tell you the differences and features of MSD's 6 Series Street Ignition Boxes. Installing a multiple spark capacitive discharge ignition on your hot rod is one of the easiest upgrades you can do and it ensures combustion which improves drivability and performance. Now we get to play with fire to show you how that works. Check this out, it's pretty cool. This gap here simulates load in your combustion chamber and you can see a relatively high RPM with a stock ignition system. This is what you've got. Now, as we, I increase the gap and increase the load in the chamber, there's a point at which the stock ignition just falls apart. It can't handle it at all. Look right there, it's just barely hanging in there. But when I flip on the MSD, bang, we've got power. Check that out. And I can make the load way bigger by increasing this gap. That is some firepower. Hey, Chad, stick your finger in there. No way. <laughs> Wow, that's nasty. The MSD actually delivers 500 volts to the coil as opposed to 12 to 14 in a stock vehicle. So that gives you an idea why you're going to want to select an ignition system. Now, MSD makes a ton of products to improve ignition from the entry level 5 series to the full race 7 series. But what we're going to talk about today is the basic 6 series CD MSD ignition systems that you find on muscle cars everywhere. All of MSD's 6 Series boxes are designed to be used with a distributor, whether a points or electronic style. For those of you with distributorless ignition, they also make boxes for those applications. For the average street strip guy, he's going to look at a 6A box unless he gets up above 12 and a half to 1 compression or 8 pounds of boost, at which point you're going to want to move to a 7 Series. For nasty spark. <laughs> <laughs> the most basic box in the MSD 6 Series lineup is the 6A, and like all the other 6 Series boxes, it offers multiple spark, up to 3000 RPM, and capacitive discharge. It also has a handy dandy wiring diagram right on the back. All the 6 Series ignitions are designed to be modular, meaning you can plug in external boxes to either control RPM or timing. However, on that basic 6A box though, you can only use the timing controls, not the rev controls. Also, that 6A box is available weatherproof for both off-road and marine applications. And for those of you that are looking for rev control in your MSD box, you can step up to a 6AL, which has an integral soft touch rev limiter. The 6AL uses a single stage rev limiter for high RPM only and it's really easy to deal with. You just take the chip that comes with it in multiple different RPM stages and shove it in the side of the box. And man, it would be cool if you actually had an engine that would take that 8,000 RPM chip. Well, eight grand is cool, but boost is better. That's a true fact right there. And if you do have a small turbo or supercharger, you're gonna wanna go with the 6BTM. It has the same features of multi-spark CD and rev limiting as the earlier boxes that we talked about, but it also has the ability to retard your timing in proportion to your boost. And it's super easy to plumb. All you do is hook up your little vacuum line right up here to this nipple, and then it knows what your boost level is in the manifold. Then you take this knob that comes with the box and put it on your dash. And this is how you adjust how much timing you want to pull out per pound of boost. You can set it to zero to not retard the timing at all. You can set it to one degree to remove one degree of timing per pound of boost. Or you can set it to two degrees per pound or three degrees per pound and it'll pull timing out of the engine up to a total of 15 degrees of time. But the latest and greatest from MSD's 6 Series lineup is the new digital 6AL2. That's the one we've got right here on the display. This new box is a little bit different in size and shape and it's got more power than the older analog 6AL boxes, but the cool feature is that it has integral two-step soft touch rev control. That means you can have both a staging rev control for the drag strip and a high RPM limit, and instead of having to slide chips in the side of the box, you can adjust it right there with these dials that are on the case. And it's got the cool little LED that lets you know if the input voltage is correct. That's true. And did you know you can also get a 6AL2 Plus, which includes a single stage of timing retard for nitrous. Excellent. <laughs> but wait, there's more. We're going to be selling steak knives here in a minute. Yeah. Uh, the newest thing, this is like pro stock technology at an affordable price, because this is the programmable 6AL2. 
This one you can plug in a PC laptop computer and completely adjust the timing curve any way you want. It has three rev limits in it and you can do step retards. So that is a bang for your buck ignition system right there. The 6AL2 programmable. So bottom line is we are huge fans of that new programmable box, which is the top of the line. But to review again, the six series ignition boxes from MSD that you're going to use on your typical street strip car, your basic 6A, which offers no features other than multi-spark and CD. You step up to the 6AL, you get a single stage soft touch rev limit that you control with a chip. You go to the 6BTM and you can also control timing retard for boost. And then there's the newest boxes, the digital 6AL2 and 2 Plus, both of which have two stage rev limits. The Plus has timing retard. And finally, the programmable, which basically slices, dices, it chops it. <laughs>